is it hanging, my beautiful people? And welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty, where it is now spring, it is now a new year, the snow has melted, winter is over, and we are in Gustovia, where I had to pay my taxes, and that means that I'm now pretty much flat out broke. <laughs> and that got me wondering, what is the best way to gather a nice income in the beginning of, uh, of Medieval Dynasty? And I know collecting is... You know, one of the big things that you can do in the beginning of a game, uh, collecting herbs, collecting berries, collecting straw and sticks and stones. So I, I was curious if I were to set out two minute time periods for each and every resource that we can gather, um, which one would net us the most coinage? And this guy is getting mad. <laughs> um, so that is what I did. I spent two minutes collecting every single resource that I, I, I just listed. And I just want to test it out, which one of these resources is the best. Hear ye, hear ye, gather around everyone who wants to know what the best way to earn coins in this world is. No one? Really? <laughs> Absolutely nobody? Well, we have one curious lady over here who is dying to know what she has to do in order to get the most coins. She is going to be the wealthiest woman in the world. I, I, I'm going to say that right now, right here. So in last place, we have got the sticks and stones. Uh, raw materials wise, we get 121 coins for two minutes worth of collecting. So granted, you can uh, make equipment pieces with the sticks and stones. For example, you can make daggers and axes and such. And if you do that, the price will go up by 10 to 131. But still, that remains in fourth place. Uh, it's it's probably it, it's good collecting, and if you have it, you can sell it. Um, Lesson learned if you want to sell sticks and stones, uh, convert them over to uh, stone axes and iron daggers. That will net you a little bit more every single one. Um, in third place is actually straw over here with 144 coins in two minutes worth of collecting. Pretty easy, pretty well done, uh, especially here in Gustovia. It is right around the corner, so it is pretty easy to collect that if you don't have any berries or herbs. Uh, this is probably the best one you should be focusing on. And then in number two, we have the berries with a whopping 194 coins for two minutes. It is really, really close to first place. It is a close contender. Um, I had a little trouble finding berries in that clip. So if you know where to collect berries, maybe berries is the best way for you to uh, collect some coins in this game. But I had a little bit of trouble, I had to look for them, and so they came in to a second, close second place. And then in first place, you can see on the left is the herbs uh, with, one, with 208 coins for two minutes. That is over 100 coins uh, per minute that I collected over here. Pretty easy to collect, it's pretty much everywhere. Uh, if you know what to look for, the little brown spots and the little yellow spots, it is really easy to collect. Uh, you can even use your sight to see it and such. Best, best way early game to collect some coins. Um, and that is it. That is our top four that we tried out. Uh, there is many, many, many more things that I want to try out. Like I said, the sewing and the wood cutting and everything that is pretty much later in the game. I still want to try out. But for the first few moments in this game, this is the result of collecting resources. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, we finally learned what is the best way for us to earn money. I see all win over here is hiding. 
and has a quest for us. Hey, Alwyn, what is up? Hi, long time no see, Alwyn, how are you? You look sad. Oh, no. Uh, hi, you will not believe what happened. Go on, tell me. My hoe is broken. Oh, no, the horror. <laughs> uh, do not laugh. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is important to me. Fine, then how can I help you? Uh, well, I've already ordered one from Falabor, a craftsman from the village on the other side of the river, north of here. Uh, I haven't picked it up yet because I had a lot of work. Work. <laughs> sure, I will be happy to help you. Here are coins to pay Falabor for the hoe. It should be enough. I know, I can trust you in this matter. Do not be afraid, I will be back soon with your coveted hoe. <laughs> okay, so Alwyn wants to get us that hoe. That is no problem. I wanted to get to the town anyway to uh, talk to the people over there and see if we can get another interesting person over there to join our fresh and upcoming dynasty. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to talk to Falibor, pay the coins, get that hoe, get it back to Alwyn and uh, see what we can do from there. And you guys know me. On my way, if I find uh, one of these berry bushes, I will not hesitate to collect them. This is pretty easy money. <laughs> and he, we are close to Falibor. I think it's this dude over here. Hello, Falibor. Do you have the hoe for Alwyn? Hi. Hello, Alwyn sent me to set, to pick up the hoe he ordered. He... Hi. Did something happen to him that he had to send someone for it? No, it's he's just very busy with... Work. <laughs> he says, work. Right. I'm helping him. Uh, ah, that boy. He is capable, but he takes on all of the work and duties of his family. Is it that, or is he just not doing anything and saying he is doing work? Nah, he is a very busy dude. <laughs> he doesn't see how much he limits himself. He is a young and can... He is still young and can do a lot more than just work in a field every day. Uh, so I'm not the only one who sees that. Yeah, he is a boy with talent, especially with the ladies. Uh, you guys saw that in the last episode. <laughs> if you are friends with him, maybe you will get through to him somehow. I will do my best. How much for this hoe? For Alwyn, it's 120 coins. Thank you. Then I'm going back to him. Uh, wait, one more thing. One hunter is looking for buyers for his boats. Are you interested? I... Definitely am, but this is my only option, unfortunately. So, not currently, no, but I will keep it in mind. Thank you again for the hoe. Our one hunter is looking to... Which hunter is this, then? I really want to find that hunter. Uh, anyone selling anything? Falibor is selling something. Let's check that out, really. Uh, Falibor, what are your wares? A cudgel. Simple tool for stunning pigs. Also works as a weapon. Can be crafted in hand. Okay. Oh, hold up. Look at these two. Uh, Agnes has got three threes and Simowith has got two threes. So I'm definitely talking to these two. Nice find. Nice find. Gather it out of the campfire over here. Hello. Sounds like I was looking for. Great to see you there. Simowith has joined the dynasty. Uh, What are you doing, Simowith? That is you, isn't it? It is. Okay. I, I'll i just not ask any questions. All win, buddy! I've got your hoe! Got it from Felibor. Hi! I'm back! Here is your hoe. Thank you. Did you find... Did you have enough coins? Yes, Felibor even sold it cheaper for you. Give 30 coins. Uh, oh, that is very kind of him. Keep the rest. You've helped me more than one occasion. You deserve it, my friend. And did you talk a bit with Falibor? What's new with him? We talked a bit. He mentioned that some hunter he knows is looking for buyers for his boats. Really? What? Are you interested? I don't know. I've never even shot with a bow. I guess I wouldn't be good at it. Dude, you're good at everything. Uh, what's the harm in trying it? You have a completely different approach in life than I do. Uh, but you may be right. I have to think about all of this. Fine, I'll leave you alone with your thoughts then. See you next time. And that is Alwyn. <laughs> very, very nice. Quest complete. Who are you? Dobromira, you helping Alwyn? No worries, I'll leave you to it. Someone has a quest for us. Ah, uh, Adel Adelbert. Can I help you with something? Can you help me solve a problem? Sure. Uh, recently, those animals starting to overpopulate and became a threat to the balance of this area. Can, can you get rid of them? 
Sure, I will hunt them down. What do I have to hunt? What are we hunting? Rabbit and deer. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we now have two hunting uh, quests, and I really want to get that done. Um, but now with accepting this quest, I think we need to get it done in summer, since it is summer right now. I think we have the whole summer to get this quest done. Um, so I'm going to quickly get that bow done, get the arrows, and then uh, then we'll do some hunting. Okay, so I have already crafted a bow, and I think I have all the resources I need for a couple of arrows right now. Not enough resources. I lack sticks. I was mistaken. <laughs> I grab in some sticks to make that bow finally then Ugh. hopefully i have enough hopefully i have enough uh, i did not check i do have enough okay that is very cool stack of 50 stone arrows who it's expensive in the feather range i have don't have a good feather resource yet so pretty expensive but i i definitely want to try it out no arrows? How does that work? Uh, arrows... I do have arrows, but where are they? Arrows... <laughs> stone, stone arrows, okay. Equip? Oh, they go in a slot. Okay, there you go. Okay, we've got arrows. Let's do some hunting. So, on the list are a couple of animals that I need to hunt, and... A boar is not one of them. But I see it, so I just want to try it out and uh, see how this thing works. Oh, it's pretty good. Doesn't have that much of a drop. Ooh, two arrow shots and a board goes down? That is insane. Do I get all of my arrows back? Oh, that would be something. Uh, shot two arrows, have one back already. What if I skin this dude? I get the other arrow back as well. Do I still have 50 arrows? I don't. 48 and 2. So, do they have some kind of durability then? Probably. Can I equip that? That is 2 arrows, 48. So, if I use them, they stack differently. Interesting. Interesting. I see a deer. Let's try it on a deer. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. There is another boar right there. One. Two arrows for a deer. Very cool, very good. Let's get that board too. Oh, this is so good. Woo, walking shot. The buck. Okay, that one's gone. Hmm, so why do some of them run and some of them do not? Very interesting. Oh my god, people. Good thing is, if I shoot them, it says stone arrows in their bodies. So I can pretty much track them everywhere. <laughs> that is insane. That is quite possibly a glitch, but a glitch that I don't mind. Oh, there's one of these big fellas. A Wysynth. These are on my list, so I have to shoot you, unfortunately. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Five arrows in the face. Guys, I cannot stress enough how good this bow is. These bow and arrows are amazing hunting-wise. I have already downed all the deer that I had to, all the wisen that I had to. The quest for the other dude in uh, uh, Gustovia is done. Um, I'm just having trouble finding the bear and the wolves. I've seen wolves around here, but I can't find them right now. And a bear I have not seen before, but I've read they tend to hang around these mountains over here somewhere and close to caves. So I'm just going to try and walk through them, see what I can do. I am moving towards Gustovia slowly but surely, but I want to 
maybe go around in a loop like that and see if we can find a bear over here um very very cool this bow though very very cool i am also very very afraid of this bear because i think this one might wreck my face <laughs> I am so afraid walking through these valleys and stumbling upon a bear. <laughs> like, there are so many corners and I've got no clue if that thing is here or not. See, I thought I heard a sound and uh, I got very afraid. <laughs> very afraid. Oh my god, this is, uh, this is intense. I am very afraid of this bear. Hello? Nice little bear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that is the one. I think that's a bear. Oh, how am I going to do this? Can I kite it a little bit? Oh, I actually hit him. I think I actually hit him. Where are you going? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to do it. Oh, I'm I'm out of stamina, but I, I juked it. <laughs> it's stuck. No, are you kidding me? Are you... You're not kidding me. Oh, I do still have these ones. <gasps> oh, where did he go? And <laughs> he is right on top of me. No, no, no. <laughs> Ow. Oh, God, that hurt. How many arrows does it take? <gasps> oh, my God ragdoll effect but that was intense holy heck <laughs> um i don't know what to say i don't know what to say that was too hectic what is this weird color oh distracted rock pickaxe okay <sighs> we killed one we found one oh that's a cave too Oh, so they do spawn their caves. That is good to know. Definitely good to know. Now, all that we need is three wolves and uh, a big game quest is done. All right, let's quickly talk to Ella Adelbert and uh, get our quest done. I've done what you've asked. Thank you very much. This should be enough. Continue. Here's your reward. It's not much, but it is honest work. Thank you. Have a good day. We've got torches, arrows, coins, and reputation. Worth it worth it now all that we need to hunt is three wolves and a big game is done but i guess i guess i'll crash here somewhere for now i don't want to uh go back in the dark okay so i am making my way back towards town to our dynasty and i'm pretty sure along this trail over here there are a couple of wolves i'm not going the right way i need to go this way so i am hoping that scared the shit out of me. I'm hoping on my way back we find three wolves, kill them easily, easily get the hunting quest done, <laughs> and uh, are able to grow our dynasty. But uh, the wolves, they have wrecked me in the past. So I'm not too, um, too easy about it. Like, I, I know what is coming, and I know it's not going to be easy, so... <laughs> Oh, I'm su I'm such a faint-hearted dude. Uh oh, heard a noise. Came from that way, but I didn't see anything. Where are you? <laughs> I heard something. Grumble. Growl. Hello? Wolfie? Definitely heard something. Uh, 
What was that? Rock. Am I going insane? Am I going nuts? That is the question. Hmm. I see foxes, I see deers, but I have not seen a wolf yet, and this is definitely the spot where I've seen them before. Maybe they are just not here during summer? Maybe they are hibernating or something like that? I know hibernating is usually during the winter, but... I mean, to be fair, I've I've looked it up where these wolves should be. And this is definitely the spot. And I heard a grumble, but that was it. I've been walking here for like half an hour and nothing yet. Um, definitely interesting. Not as scared as I used to be. But you know, danger is just lurking around the corner. <laughs> All right, you guys, unfortunately, I could not find any wolves. Maybe this is the wrong season. Maybe it's the wrong time of day. Maybe I am just looking in the wrong places altogether. But I, for the life of me, could not find them. Um, I'm very sure we will run into them when we least expect it. So um, the quest has yet to be uh, finished, but it'll be finished as before we know it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. I know there used to be a lot of wolves in there, so maybe it's just the season uh, summer that, you know, uh, hides them from me? I, I am unsure. <laughs> I am so unsure. Um, anyway, we now have our fourth person in the dynasty, which is Simuit. He has become a new hunter and Rassibor has become the seamster. Uh, with the seamster, I'm hoping to unlock linen thread. And with the linen thread, I'm hoping to unlock a lot of bows and a lot of clothes like that. Like over here, like shoes and such. Uh, we need fur, we need leather, but we also need linen thread for a lot of things. Like over here, linen fabric, linen fabric, linen thread. Um, so we need a lot of that. And I'm hoping if we start it early, we unlock a lot of good gear, like for ourselves but also for selling wise i am very interested in the money aspect of this game uh what outputs the most coinage and such so we did an experiment experiment in the beginning of the game with uh, all of the gathering uh things that we can do um right now or in the coming episodes i really want to try out what we can make with uh the wood cutting with the tailoring and such all of that, maybe even farming and cooking. There is many, many more things that we need to discover. And um, yeah, this game is amazing. It'll be a lot of fun uh, discovering all of that things. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You guys have been amazing as always uh, with the support and everything in the comments. I see every single one of them. I respond to every single one of them. And uh, I, I love every single one of them <laughs> for sure. Um, so thank you for that. Keep them coming. Keep it coming. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. See you later. Be nice. Bye bye. <laughs>